All right, let's talk about aesthetic relationship controls. The ancient Greeks in their architectural and sculptural inferences, they gave birth to Western civilization's understanding and appreciation of aesthetic beauty. Humans perceive intrinsic aesthetic beauty in design that embodies an aesthetic balance of symmetry, rhythm, simplicity, unity, and harmony. The tasteful and proper use of these tools will allow you to master the aesthetic relationships required of great design. So what are the five keys to creating aesthetic relationships? All right. The first is balance. Balance is the equilibrium in our inner ear that explains our quest for balance in everything we see. The human mind prefers balance to imbalance. Without balance, we feel unstable and experience anxiety. With balance, we are calm and peaceful. Now, balance may be symmetrical, which is aligned, or asymmetrical, which is not aligned. Balance creates mood of calm or relaxation. A lack of balance creates unrest and tension. Balance is a measure of present equilibrium due to equal opposition or equal attraction. Balance is subtle and rarely consists of one item such as a balance of size. More often, it's an intricate concert of orchestrated elements, each influencing and enhancing the other. Two, rhythm. Rhythm is the flow of life that begins with your first heartbeat. It embodies a harmonious tempo of movement in sound or vision. Rhythm is movement in regular measures. Multiple movements of regular patterns of measure create visual direction within the design. This pattern creates a flow or path for the eye to follow across or into and around a work of art. Three, harmony. Harmony is an agreement or a quality of oneness among elements, according to what elements share in common. Be it direction, shape, color, size, or texture, what sets of elements share in common is harmonious. Interest in design occurs when enough variety, read anomaly, is introduced within harmony to prevent boredom. Tension is the opposite of harmony. Tension points occur as two elements touch or appear visually to touch in an awkward manner in which they trap the eye, preventing it from the natural flow through design, breaking the concentration of or shocking the viewer. Four, unity. We search for the perfect tomato from the grocer's bin, discarding those with imperfections in color, smell, or texture. Unity is one type of harmony. Traditionally, unity is achieved with the use of a skeletal grid that forms the basis for established unity across multiple pages or applications. Unity provides visual consistency, offering a unified whole as opposed to a disjointed feeling. Summed up best by Abe Lincoln, united we stand, divided we fall. Five, simplicity. In communication, art, and mathematics, humans strive to discover the beauty inherent in underlying principles in their most pure and simplistic form. Humans are capable of storing five to nine chunks of information within our short-term memory. Streamlining and simplifying your communication lowers the required mental processing power, decreasing frustration and fatigue while increasing the ability to cut through the clutter and gain access to your customer's long-term memory. Balance aesthetic relationship controls. Let's talk about balance. The human mind is a tendency to seek out order and balance within visual composition. Our equilibrium innately seeks balance and stability as preference in reaction to gravity. We find imbalance between objects unsettling. Create balance and harmony will follow. The human mind prefers balance to imbalance. When symmetrical or asymmetrical balance is not present, the viewer is jarred and unsettled. A sense of balance is psychologically comforting to us based on our innate need to feel an established and solid foundation beneath us as our inner ear maintains our stability. Balance may occur due to symmetry within asymmetry in horizontal or radial execution or by opposing elements of approximate weight, color, texture, value, and size. It may occur within a positive or negative space between type, images, or design elements. Our sense of balance occurs within the context of a vertical or horizontal axis. Due to our shared experience with gravity, we all intuitively prefer the greater visual weight below the horizontal visual axis. This is why we add visual space to the bottom of a frame piece of art. 
positive and negative space refers to the area of a composition. The communication elements represent the positive space, while the environment itself, the negative space. The terms mass and void describe the balance and use of black and white space. Mass and void help us to determine the figure ground relationships and provide a visual path for the eye to follow. Scale determines the figure ground relationship. Proximity defines the scale. The figure ground relationship is created by the interaction between elements and its surroundings. All elements exist within a state of constant interaction with each other. In music and design, the spaces or pauses between the notes or visual elements are of equal importance as the notes or elements themselves. Perception requires contrast and separation. A bat at night, lacking contrast and separation from the dark cave, cannot be easily perceived. We require a passive and dominant relationship between subject and background in order to comprehend any image. A contrasting relationship between form and counterform is essential in composition and logo development. Even subtle changes in the figure and ground relationship may shift the visual eye flow and or visual energy. In the ambiguous Canadian flag, do you see the top of a maple leaf or do you see the faces of two old men arguing? Mass and void. The result of this positive-negative relationship in design defines form and composition and exists in three states. One, stable, a dominant grounded element in a passive background or vice versa. Two, ambiguous, a multi-stable condition exists when alternate interpretations pop back and forth visually due to the lack of a dominant element or focal point in the figure ground relationship. Positive and negative elements equally attract attention. Or three, interwoven, these are active figure ground relationships that interweave negative and positive space, creating a dynamic, balanced, or unbalanced composition. Interwoven relationships are commonly utilized in local development. As humans, we perceive the world in human scale from the human perspective, so design accordingly. Scale. The appropriateness of scale is always determined by the intended human use. We comprehend scale in human terms. Scale defines the proportional differences between elements. When designing, think in terms of human scale. Always design for the appropriate scale as determined by the end use. If we will live or work inside a design, the scale should be larger than if we hold it in our hand. Your senses will naturally be at ease if the scale is appropriate for the intended use. Now, spatial illusions occur when relationships of scale are not maintained or ambiguous as in the above image, where from the viewer's perspective, the four-wheeler appears to be resting on the man's head. Proportion. Proper proportion in size and scale can be determined through experience or with the aid of established design principles, such as the golden rule. Maintaining established relationships of proportion within a design establishes harmony and unity. Two elements of differing sizes and value can establish a sense of visual balance given the proper relationship of size, value, and distance from the pivotal point. The pivotal point. Two bodies possessing the same density but unequal in size will balance only if the smaller one is placed further from the pivotal point. Likewise, in design, two bodies with all else equal except size will balance only if the smaller one is placed further from the pivotal point or in the center of the field of vision. Value and color, value balance. Value also offers a means to establish a sense of balance. A large element will not balance with a smaller element of equal value, but a specific increase in adjustment in the value density of the smaller element will obtain equilibrium between the large and small elements. In the illustration, the smaller white element balances with the larger gray element. Temperature balance. Warm advancing colors such as orange and red demand greater eye attention than cool receding colors like blue and green. Therefore, it's possible to balance a small warm element with a much larger cool element of the same value. Let's talk about tonal contrast. The eye is most attracted to the source of greatest tonal contrast. Thus, it is possible to balance a small element of greater tonal contrast with a much larger element of limited tonal contrast due to the complexity of density of the smaller object and the 
length of its contour. This rule also applies to texture, where the extent of tonal contrast directly increases the attraction of the eye. Shapes of varying contour, but the same area with balance. Mental force. Certain elements possess a greater force within the mind that than occurs in actual physics. This is why when asked which weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of lead, many people answer lead. Attractive force. Certain elements of design possess a greater force than others upon the eye. A small, brilliant red square may attract the eye of equal extent as a much larger neutral square, and therefore both shall provide a sense of balance when viewed together. Directional force. Direction provides a sense of balance when it splits and diverges at equal angles from equal weight and equal length of a given axis. A sense of balance and direction may also occur between elements split by a contrasting angle of divergence.